Hello and welcome back to Plymouth Pavilions for another In Conversation with Live at the Devon Business Show 2023. It's been a long day and it's not over with yet. I can tell you now we've still got a few more live stream episodes to come. Now in this edition, we're going to be talking about entertainment and how entertainment can help your business um, improve its mental health, its well-being and all those important challenging type things. But before we go further, let's say a few hellos. Um, we want to say hello to Focus Group Training, Plymouth City Bus Carbon Saving Group and also PB Media as well. With me here in the studio, which which is I'm, I'm starting to think this feels more like when you know when they do the elections and they have the studio on College Green, like the BBC overlooks like Houses of Parliament, or indeed something similar. It feels a bit like that, a bit like Question Time. Would you agree? Yes, you do. You do all agree. Okay. So let's find out who we are joined with. Um, from uh, Real Immersive, we've got Laura. Say hello, Laura. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Uh, from Paradise Island Golf. Adventure Golf. Hello. Paradise Adventure Golf. We've got Craig. Hello, Craig. Hi, hi. Hello. And from Big Wave Media, talking about the Big Wave business games, we have Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Uh, now, Sarah, because I've known you for many, many years, I'm going to pick on you first. All right. I hope you don't mind. All right. Okay. Um, so why are events like this, not in terms of the business show, but events that you put on, business games, um, challenges, team building events, I guess the answer is in, in the title, but why are they so important for how a business operates? Well, I think I want to sort of start off by saying that I don't think it's ever been as important as it is now. Um, so we've run the business games in Exeter uh, since 2010 and in 2019 we incorporated Torquay and Plymouth as well. Uh, we've had a couple of years break and this year we've been back with a bang. Um, and what we There's found, no other way to come back. Well, absolutely. You don't come back with a frizzle. <laughs> should always or be. A sizzle. It should always, should always be a bang in my mind. Yes, carry on. But what we found, especially this year, you know, people have, uh, you know, they, a lot of people are working remote, um, and they're still working remote or hybrid. And what we found is that it's giving, um, you know, the opportunity for people to meet again, you know, socially. Um, with physical challenges, um, but actually just to sort of, you know, to engage with each other again and have fun because there's not a lot of fun at the moment, is there? Yeah, you know? I know what you mean. And, I... and the Big Wave Games is just, it's, it's light relief, you know, it's, it's just... Oh, it's just it's just a fantastic way of just bringing your team together and meeting other teams. Sounds too. fantastic. Laura, what's your solution to the concept of fun then? What do you bring to the table? So we opened the Market Hall, which is an immersive tech sector, in 2021. So we are very focused on people utilising immersive technologies, coming and seeing 360 experiences. You know, we've recently had shark footage, films of Antarctica. There's loads of kind of things people engage with. But alongside that, we work a lot with children. We get kind of hands-on, teach them Lego robotics, teach them how to code, the skills of the future. Um, so yeah, it's essentially that, it's bringing people together, getting people to in the room and have a play. Excellent, I love that idea. And um, talking about, um, we mentioned team building, and yeah. um, Paradise Adventure Golf, Craig, it's, it must be one of the classic answers to the concept of team building. Absolutely, anyone can play adventure golf. It's just one of those activities, you know, office junior, CEO, they can all come together as a collective and have fun and just, yeah, it's just, who doesn't like adventure golf? Absolutely, yeah. Health and well-being and positive mental health, um, it's, it's very much something that we're talking about a lot within business and indeed as individuals. Um, do you find that more and more organisations are looking to, um, to companies like your, yourself in order to kind of help fix that problem? Yeah, I would say over the last year or two, I'd seen more people looking just for that fun release, looking to bring people together. Um, but back end of kind of 2015 to 2020, maybe budgets were cut and people yeah. were just, one of the first things that would go would be team building. And then we've definitely seen it over the last year or two that they're recognising that, you know what, this is really important, getting people together. And it doesn't matter if it's a small team of, you know, five, ten people or a larger group. It's all about getting them together, for a fun day out, you know, interacting. And yeah, we've definitely noticed that more inquiries coming in rather than us having to go out there and showcase it as a, as a fun team building event, we're actually, they're coming to us then, I'd say. I love the idea of bringing people together. This is, this is really positive. And indeed, 
the big wave games and um, big wave is more traditionally known as being an advertising marketing like a full service agency um how did this idea come about so it came about as i said in 2010 um, obviously our headquarters are in Exeter um, and it was something that another business ran okay and it was something that we took part in mm -hmm. um, and they decided that they didn't want to run it anymore it's really time consuming it's really labor intensive it's really hard work to run and they said we're not going to run this anymore um, and they looked to us and said why don't you take it over and we did um, and obviously every year we've run it successfully in Exeter and as I said in 2019 um, we rolled it out to Torquay and Plymouth. Um, going over to, going back to you with Real, Real Immersive Laura, um, you mentioned about children and um, being part of that immersive experience. How have you deployed this facility with regards to the business community? So we host kind of very regular, we as Real Immersive are a part of the Real Ideas organisation, so Real Ideas Group. Um, we've had kind of things in Devonport for the last 15 years. We're very supportive of startups. We've had startup immersive programs, start something creative. So we support both small businesses to kind of form these communities that are all going through the same thing together to get to an end that's kind of about social purpose and about the innovation and yeah. And we also work a lot with um, with schools and young people and kind of groups with people with SEND. So we found that the mindfulness and well-being in an immersive dome for those communities and for those groups has honestly been revolutionary for them. So we have put a lot of time and energy into not only our relationship with businesses, teachers, but also freelancers and individuals. Fan sounds really, I mean, I can imagine actually putting one of your Avenger Golf things in that immersive dome and then holding some kind of big event there be, be quite mental. Um, Going back to um, Paradise Adventure Golf, you're, you're on, you're kind of on the high street, yes? Yeah, just down at uh, the barcode and drink circus. Um, a lot of agile. So the high street, oh gosh, just looking at my microphone, I get so excited about golf. Um, the, the high street kind of, it's, it has suffered a bit yeah. lately, hasn't it? Has that affected your particular sector in its positioning on the high street? Or have you been able to make the most of a, of a bad situation? Yeah, a bit of both, I'd say, obviously, with a lot of... The, Big high, high street retailers going out of business means that there's not as many footfall in high street, which we was piggyback on. People would, would come to for the likes of the cinema, which is taking a big hit. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the last few years, a lot of people are now watching Netflix on their TV and maybe not so much going to the cinema as they would previously. So, Adventure Golf for a lot of people is part of a bigger day out. It might be shopping, food, and then, you know come and play around a golf rather than necessarily just playing golf so yes yeah, it's, it's impacted us but with our price point being quite relatively low um, right across the sector 20 24 pounds for a family of four is not too much that a lot of people can maybe do it you know once a month still so it's quite good that way and with regards to businesses that want to actually utilize your facilities do you have packages available absolutely and that's one of the big reasons we're here today to showcase it towards businesses um, Traditionally, the golf course is a place where business tends to be done. Yeah. So we say, why, why not make it the adventure golf course? And yeah, we've had networking events and it's just a great space for people to come. Sometimes networking events can be quite, you know, quite rigid and people, you know, speaking to each other. Once you have a game of golf and it loosens everyone up and they can chat away, and it's, it's been proved very popular and through the Chamber we're going to look to do a lot of events going forward. And what sort of organisations do you get visiting? A whole range, absolutely everything. I mean, businesses large and small. It's, it's funny, I'm walking around here today and there's not one business that I've spoken to that haven't been enthusiastic to speak to me because they're like, oh, you know, Adventure Golf, that sounds like something we would, we would love to do or we've, we've done in the past. Uh, thanks for reminding us about it. So it's really, it doesn't matter if it's a solicitor or but for you know, any kind of, any niche business is, is, is relevant to everyone. Mm -hmm. And I pose the same question to Sarah with regards to the games. What kind of organisations take part in that? So all sorts. So architects, uh, solicitors, um, accountants, we have people in retail, education. So it fits all businesses. And, and um, Craig mentioned about the, the golf course being an opportunity and indeed, a, I suppose, a traditional location where business is, is often done. Is business also done at the games? I mean, do you kind of like, do you get to meet potential new, new clients or colleagues or collaborators? Yeah, absolutely. So we openly, you know, um, offer the sort of, you know, 
facilitate um, before and after the games. So if people want to network, if people want to talk to one another, then that is available if, if that's what they want to do. Um, so Laura, your, your Real Immersive is all about the virtual world. And going back to you know the, the days of yonder, the, the big C word that we won't mention because hopefully that will never come back. Everything went online, everything went a bit virtual. We're back here at a business show. It's really good to see people in the flesh. Um, how have you found this event in particular and how have you um, how have you found the engagement with regards to the, both the exhibitors and those that have attended? As much as kind of tech sector can be linked to online and there's a massive place for that, we have always had a strong foundation in in-person stuff. So we have a venue, Market Hall in Devonport. We have a big focus on getting people in the room together and physically kind of sharing ideas and sharing space to collaborate. So. Being here today is wonderful. It's really great to meet people and kind of give them ideas of either how they could utilize tech in their business, how they could either use it as a kind of place to meet, to co-work, to meet other businesses, or how, to be honest, they can just come and have fun and they can watch something immersive and they can experience something they've never been to before. So as much as our work can be online, there's a huge place, especially in the tech sector, where so much stuff is done separately, in you know houses in individual studios there are very limited places for everyone to come together and work together and that's what we're really I'll, passionate about i want to ask you a techie question right so so it's an immersive kind of domey type thing yes. does that mean you need to have proper high-end super duper really complicated pre-production to to bring to you is it going to cost you an arm and leg to kind of it's not going to make cost something you an arm like, I, I can imagine like linking up with steven spielberg in a pair of 3d goggles just to be able to that would be fantastic. Be weird, um, yeah, so it is a fully immersive space. It's a 360 dome, 210 over the top, uh, with two 4K projectors that cover the space. It is. It sounds incredibly technical and it is state of the art for full dome as a medium, but we run workshops with eight-year-olds on how to use a 360 camera and how to see their work on on that kind of scale. So there are definitely limits. You can do it in a very basic way using kind of a 400 pound camera up to a massive production budget, which, you know, would be very nice. Absolutely, yes, I, I can imagine. Thank you very much to the three of you for, for joining us. Before we, we vanish, not into thin air, obviously, but, <laughs> but before we finish this stream, is there anything that either of you would like to add? This is where they all go quiet and go, no, I think I've covered everything, Paul. I think I've covered everything. I can see Sarah's looking at saying a little bit of something extra. Go on. You, you're a marketing person. I am. So squeeze something else I in. Would and I you've could. never been short of a few words or two. I uh, just wanted to say that if anybody's interested in next year's games, mm -hmm. um, please go on to um, our website, which is bigwavebusinessgames.co.uk. Fantastic. And also with regards to contacting you, Laura, how do we get in touch? Um, the best way is to follow us. We're on all the usual social platforms. So the best one is at the Market Hall UK or at Real Immersive, which is just beginning. Fantastic. And Craig, how can we get in touch with you? Yeah, all, on all the socials for Instagram, Facebook, but our website, paradise7golf.com. Get in touch with us and we'll sort you out with any kind of corporate packages. And Fantastic. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And thank you for joining us online. We've got one more stream, I do believe, left in our agenda. But you never know. We might even squeeze in a couple more after that. We have been coming live from the Devon Business Show 2023 here at Plymouth Pavilions from the Devon and Plymouth Chamber of Commerce.